everyone, welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to go ahead and pick some cards to see what's going on in this connection. How is your person feeling about you? What would they say to you? Where is this headed? And any other messages that we can get from the cards here. I'm going to be using the Nightmare before. Um, no, actually the Disney Villains Tarot deck, which is appropriate because I am filming this in October. But do keep in mind this is a timeless reading, so this applies um, to whenever you are watching it. Okay, so there's a couple of cards that already fell out that I'm going to be using for this reading. Okay, so uh, we got the Five of Cups. Okay, Five of Cups is like, okay, I'm... Um, you know, feeling a little bit dissociated, withdrawn, like, I feel like a lot of you have felt this too, like, you know, you could really like someone, but then you have those moments where you're just like, do I even want this at all? Do I even want this person at all? Like, you know, you just feel a little bit dissociated for a little bit, but then you get back on track, right? Like, I feel like this is a part of the universal, like, human experience, right? Like, at some time, sometimes we just feel like, oh, like, I, I don't know how I feel right now. I kind of just don't feel anything, right? So, um, yeah, I do feel like, you know, this person does have periods where they kind of feel like that, but the next card is the Eight of Wands. So, again i feel like you know after these periods like they realize that at the end of the day like you know they they do still feel that passion for you they do still feel that spark and connection for you okay and i feel like you know eventually they're going to act upon this eventually you know this eight of wands is a communication card a contact card like oh i you know i want something to happen and i'm going to be doing the pursuing i'm going to be doing the chasing okay so if you are manifesting this person this is a sign that your person has been thinking about you they have been thinking about this connection like you know actually reaching out to you okay um i am i'm also seeing like this fear that like you know you might ghost them or leave them out in the cold or maybe like they're thinking like oh it might it hasn't been too long since they've reached out to you maybe they might feel a little bit like weird reaching out to you now because yeah they feel like it's been too long or maybe you're over this connection or maybe you're over them especially if you haven't really been reaching out to them like I feel like right now they're not 100% sure that you know you might even that you still have feelings for them especially if you haven't really you know shown them any signs of the 3d which I would say actually works to your benefit because like you know a lot of people like the chase a lot of people um kind of get off of like you know on that uncertainty so like you know this person i feel like um that's going to encourage them to kind of like step up more and offer you more so that's why like you know this is like basic psychology sometimes like not acting like you know overly interested and makes that other person you know do more and kind of like just being a little bit nonchalant about certain things even if like you're feeling completely different on the inside you know um that does sort of like magnetize things to you more right like that's just one belief that's just one way that things work but i do feel like if you've been playing it a little bit cool and if you have been in no contact and you haven't really been reaching out to them it's been working okay there's no contact's definitely been working and it's actually making them like you know really curious about your life and trying to see you know what you're doing and um yeah we also or like you know they're just curious to see what you're doing and like it, it's kind of like it, they're they're getting more and more attracted to you every day like you're magnetizing them okay i feel like there's something very like there's been like some sort of like energy shift or energy change within you maybe like you know if you were the ones that uh did always used to like you know reach out to them or like kind of make the first move and you haven't done that in a while you know they're getting a little bit curious like okay what's happening with this person like you know they haven't reached out like have they moved on like you know and it's kind of also making them a little bit anxious but also it's like kind of motivate motivating them and encouraging them to like chase you a little bit too okay yeah so we also got here the nine of wands so the nine of wands is like a uh persistence like tenacity type of card like i don't want to give up it is kind of like a okay maybe there's not that much happening right now in the 3d but i haven't fully given up on this connection type of card okay so there could be a little bit of stagnancy in this connection but um i i say I see this as like a very positive card because, you know, this person is thinking like, okay, I want to protect everything that we built and established together. And, you know, when you know, I, it is very likely that this person will reach out to you, they are hoping that you'll be able to pick up um, from where you left off. Okay. So that's also something that I'm seeing, like, you know, it's kind of going on behind the scenes. I do feel like there's a lot of movement going on behind the scenes, especially if you have been consciously affirming for and, you know, manifesting this person. Okay. Let's go over the signs real quick. I'm getting like Sagittarius energy um leo energy cancer energy sun moon rising venus don't worry about like you know if you don't hear you or your person signs that's okay it has more to do with the energies but yeah let's see you know what else is going on here yeah we got the hermit yeah you could be in no contact right now you could be in like you know just um or very like little contact mode like maybe like you know they watch your stories or connect on social media but like it hasn't really been the contact that you want but i take this hermit as a really good sign because this means that your person is really working on themselves this hermit is someone who goes into solitude and like you know isolation to really work on themselves to really like cultivate themselves and um grow expand heal more okay so the hermit is a good sign that you know when they come back they're going to be coming back in a way that you want them to come back okay so don't worry if you haven't received that contact yet the universe is working its infinite intelligence for this person to come back 
in a way that's actually going to leave you satisfied because I feel like if this person just texted you hey and you just talked for a little bit you're going to be stuck in that same cycle of manifesting this person again and again so just go straight to the end you know when it comes to manifesting live in the end go straight to the end that is really what gets you your manifestations okay wow speaking of manifestations we got the magician this is the ultimate like yes my manifestations are working hard so if you have been manifesting this person it's working the magician also um okay this is associated with mercury so person your person has been thinking about you a lot they have been talking about you i'm seeing like conversations going on like your person has been talking about you to friends and family and the magician also has all the suits okay so they, they realize that this connection has like literally every single thing that it needs okay i feel like you know maybe if you were on a break and maybe you or them dated other people or, or sought out other options it just reinforced their feelings for you or like you even realize like okay you know other people are just not cutting it i don't feel um anything for these other people the way that i feel about this person okay so yeah i'm also seeing something about how they stalk your social media late at night like you know like at you know two 3 a.m like maybe this person has like sleeping problems or like a really weird sleeping schedule um and maybe you notice that too like maybe you'll notice like they'll watch your story like kind of late at night or like you know interact with you or message you or do something um i do feel like this person like you're the last person they think about and because of that you know they do dream about you a lot okay so um yeah that's another random message that i got okay we got the sun i really like this by the way we're getting leo virgo energy as well sun moon rising venus um yeah with the sun card you know this has to do with like a better brighter future okay for this connection like the best days of this connection haven't even happened yet and your person sees you as this very like warm caring nice fun charming like you know full of energy um type of person okay like i feel like you have like a very nice youthful vibe too but at the same time you also you know you're really wise you've been through a lot and i feel like your experience has made you a lot wiser but your person does love like you know the energy that you invoke in them when you know the both of you hang out they also invoke something within you that's also one of the reasons why you really like them you like how this person really made you feel and i feel like that feeling is definitely mutual okay and i do feel like there's something big coming and there's going to be a big gesture af after this period of separation because we got that the sun card um you know clarifies that the hermit card right so there's something big coming in for sure we got true love i love this so much this is the twin flame card i'm also seeing some gemini placements on moon rising venus okay um true love here yeah you're meant to be night this is like a very deep intense connection this could be like a twin flame connection if you do believe in that okay um this is being you know divinely guided by your higher selves by the infinite intelligence that's running this entire thing okay the way that you get back together is gonna unfold in the most seamless natural way possible okay so trust that this is happening for you um let's go and see like what the circumstances are like what the problems are like why why hasn't this person you know reached out right now um okay so it's interesting because we got the high priestess yeah so i feel like you know you've been doing a lot of work a lot of personal development on yourself and i feel like maybe this person feels a little bit behind in that aspect of their life or like you know sometimes when you feel like you know something's too good to be true just don't go towards that thing or like you know one good way of explaining that is procrastination like let's say there's a project that you have due and like maybe like you do know how to do it and you even have like a very solid idea for a project and you know um you can make that project you know like really good but you're scared of failure like i'm seeing like there's this fear of failure maybe even like this fear of success right so you end up like procrastinating because you're just like okay well if i do this last minute then and if it doesn't you know do that well if i don't you know get the grade that i want on the project then it's better than like you know spending a lot of time on it and then failing right so i, I feel like there's this like innate like you know um unconscious like fear of like success that your person could be have happening like okay what if this relationship does turn out to be successful then you know um i have a lot to lose and like that's really scary for this person that's why sometimes like you know i'm not saying this is always the case but you know people will date like the safer option because they're just like okay well this way i can't get hurt like so i do feel like you know this person's ego is coming into play a little bit you know in the form of fear of not getting hurt so th that is something that i'm seeing happening yeah we got the king of swords yeah, this king of swords is someone who's like very careful about like how they show their emotions what they invest their you know time energy effort into like someone who's like a little bit stoic you know maybe even a little bit calculated um very different from the king of cups like you know doesn't really wear their heart on their sleeves but they are capable of depth and emotion but you know they play it really cool i think of like the most macho person you know um the most like chill laid back person you know um like that's kind of how this person acts at times and sometimes you've even like wondered like okay like what is going on in this person's mind but i do feel like you can feel that connection like you know this person likes you they know they like you i feel like they know that you like them as well okay like you do feel that energy i feel like you have a knack for really reading in between the lines and really gauging people's energies and you were really able to read this person like no other okay like i feel like you know the way that you um got through to this person and sort of like broke down their walls and barriers is 
you know, you did that in a way no one else ever could. Okay. And like, that's why they haven't forgotten about you. They haven't forgotten about this connection. And they're just like, wow, like I have not experienced anything like this in a while. That's why they're refusing to give up. And that's why you keep thinking about them because they keep thinking about you. Okay. Like this is going both ways. Like you're not just, you're not crazy to be in, you know, into this person for however long you have been into this person. Okay. They do feel the same way about you. We also got the 10 of cups. Yeah. 10 of cups. This is the happily ever after happy ending, happy marriage, like, you know, moving in together, forming, you know, a nice, beautiful family type of card here. So I really do feel like you and your person are meant to get together. We got the twin flame card, we got the 10 of cups card, which is one of the soulmate cards in the deck. Okay, a lot of watery energy, by the way. Um, I'm also seeing a lot of fire energy, Aries, you, Sagittarius, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, someone could have these placements, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, but yeah, spoiler alert, I do feel like you and your person will get back together, and it's going to be better than you even imagined it. And I do feel like, you know, um, whatever you know, their fear of like success, fear of like, you know, just being vulnerable is like they are slowly going to, you know, break through that in time. Okay. It's not something that's going to plague this connection forever. But you know, advice for you is to like, you know, just manifest that you feel safe and secure expressing yourself and also receiving love. Like I'm open to giving and receiving full love. I feel good, you know, fully loving because sometimes it's like, you know, we really want to love this person so hard, but we also want them to, you know, do the same back because we don't want to feel like, you know, we're the only ones doing that or like, you know, we don't want to feel like we're too overwhelming or overbearing, right? So just say like, you know, my love is mutually reciprocated. Right? or like our love is mutual my love is always reciprocated you know we both feel very deeply and intensely for each other it's safe for the both of us to love deeply and holistically okay so yeah um, i'm gonna go ahead and pick some love oracle cards to see what other messages your person has for you okay yeah we got i remember the first day we met like it was yesterday your person definitely does reminisce about you reminisce about this connection they definitely do miss you a lot okay um if you if you are in no contact they do think about like the moments that you shared the same moments that you're thinking about they think about as well okay um uh, we also got here, you bring out the best in me. You really did bring out something in them that no one else has. Okay, this completely reiterates and reinforces, um, you know, what I was saying about, like, you know, the sun card. Like, you brought out something within them that no one else has, and you've invoked a certain energy within them um, that, you know, is, like, perpetual, perpetually burning. Like, I keep hearing, I don't know how to, like, put this in words, but, like, an eternal flame they still feel that spark for you that passion for you like you kindled this fire within them that's still burning for you okay um yeah look at how deep and poetic ah deep and poetic i'm getting here yeah we also got i love how strong you are yeah i feel so protective over you like yeah you know they want to protect you they want to be there for you they want to like you know um like nurture this connection okay um but they do admire your strength and resilience but like i'm seeing like you know teamwork is coming in like i feel like for a lot of you you've been independent for so long and you know maybe you've had a hard time like relying on people or trusting people because they just haven't shown up for you the way that you wanted them to but i feel like this person's going to be coming back in and showing you like hey like you know let's do this let's support each other let's trust each other like i want this to happen i want this to work you're the only person like i want i want to make this work with you're the only person again that's invoked you know, these deeper feelings within them, you've ignited that flame and passion within them, that is just like unparalleled, like no one else has been able to do that with them. Okay, so yeah, anyways, I will go ahead and end the reading right here. I do want to let you know that I offer in-depth tarot readings as well as manifestation coaching, and also custom makes subliminals. So if you are interested in any of these services, check out the description box below, where you will find my website, you can sign up for those services through my website. And yeah, I will end the reading right here for real. Um, I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Love and light.